Today, we'll be going over Yamdu's versatile crew feature. In the crew tab, we're going to see multiple functions related to the crew. Our main focus will be on the crew list and access rights. To invite or add a new crew member to the crew list, we simply click on the invite user option. And in the pop-up window, we can enter the crew member's information in more detail. We're required to assign a single or multiple positions to the crew member, either by using the drop-down menu to scroll through the different crew options, or by entering the desired position into the field. And if the position we're looking for is not listed as one of the options, we can simply rename a similar position in the display position with the following name field. Below, we can see the default access rights granted to the crew member, but we could always limit or grant them more access to these rights. At the bottom of the window, we're given the option to write a personal message to the crew member, or we can move on to the advanced settings where we have the option of assigning the crew member to a specific unit, which we'll go right ahead and do. Then, we can even hide the crew member from the crew list entirely or limit the time they have access to the project. In this case, we'll enter a time limitation for a crew member. And once we're finished, we'll go right ahead and invite our crew member. Now, we'll be able to see the newly added crew member on the crew list. And since this crew member has been assigned to two positions, they're gonna show up under the two departments respectfully. To view the crew member's profile, we can simply click on their name and see their information. We can always edit their profile to add, change, or remove any information related to them. For instance, our crew member has allergies which must be indicated in the catering field. Additionally, if they hold a valid driver's license, it should be noted in the field to specify their driving class as well as any special permits they carry. Once this is completed, we just hit save and we'll be able to see the updated changes in the crew member's profile. Below the crew member's initials, we see that there are additional options to remove the crew member from the project, resend the invitation for the crew member to join the project, change the crew member's position, and add the crew member to your address book should you need to use them again in the future. We also have the option of activating or deactivating certain access rights for a crew member. Going back to the crew list, there are three quick function dots located on the right-hand side of the crew member's name tab. And here, we see the same additional options from within the crew member's profile without ever having to go directly into their profile. With this, we're able to send our crew member an email, add them to the address book, resend the invitation, or remove the crew member from the crew list without having to go directly into their profile. Now, let's take a look at how the invitation will look like as a crew member. We will receive an invitation with the link to register at Yamdu, which will direct us to the Yamdu site. Our full name and email address will already be filled in from the invitation information that was provided. Next, we'll just need to create a strong password. And here, we have the option of adding a profile picture. So let's go ahead and add one. Then we'll be asked to enter our contact information, our address, and any additional information such as our dietary restrictions or licenses we hold. And lastly, we'll get a summary of the information we provided and have the option of making changes to them before registering. We'll also have the option to subscribe for any updates and offers from Yamdu. And let's go ahead and accept the terms and conditions and register. Now we have successfully registered for Yamdu. We'll be greeted by a welcome video related to our department. Then afterwards, we will land on the project page. Let's go ahead and select the project that we've been assigned to join. Here, we can see the different departments we have access to. But depending on the access rights that we've been granted, we'll be able to either view, edit, or change the information. However, we won't be able to view any information we haven't been given access to. We can always change the settings to our preferences and view the projects that we are involved in. 
Once the crew member has registered and joined the project, we'll be able to see their profile picture and the information that they've provided. You are still able to edit their profile with the exception that you are no longer able to edit their name, surname, email, and profile picture. To add a crew member using the company database, we simply need to select the invite user from company database option. And a pop-up window containing the users that are part of other projects that we have and employees that are part of the company but have yet to be assigned to a position will show up. We can scroll through the options to enter the person's name in the search field. Once we've selected the crew or staff member, we'll see the invite user pop-up window. But this time, it will be populated with the member's information. Here, we can edit the information and change their position, add an additional position, or remove a position entirely. Just as we did for inviting a new user, we can see the access rights, personal message, and advanced settings below. Now the newly added member will be visible on the crew list. As always, in the crew member's profile, you're able to edit the crew member's profile and have the additional options just as before when you created a crew member. To invite an external contact who is involved in the project but not a member of the crew, we can simply enter and fill in the contact information by selecting the Add External Contact option. As always, we'll be asked to fill in the contact's information. And let's just go ahead and do that. And at the bottom, we'll find more options to either add additional contact information, create a contact, add any skills or qualifications the contact has, dietary requirements, and any images or files related to the contact. Now the external contact will show up on our crew list. Selecting the contact will lead us to their profile page where we can add, change, or remove any information related to them. There are also additional options to delete the contact, view the items seen by the contact, edit the contact's profile picture, or mark the contact to our dashboard. And we also have the option of assigning the contact a profile picture like so. And as always, you'll find the quick function options on the right side. Now, let's take a quick look at the access rights. By selecting stack on the left, we can view the entire list to the access rights the crew member can see, or we can select the lock and prevent sensitive information from being viewed by the crew member. The quick function dots on the right houses different options for registered users as opposed to unregistered users. There are a few more options for unregistered users, such as changing the email address, resending an invitation, or copying an invitation link to send externally. Located on the right-hand side above the crew list is a quick search function. Here, we can search for a crew member using their name or position. Next to the search function is an option to export the crew list. Here we have a number of different ways of exporting the crew list as well as an option to export the crew list especially for catering. And this was a quick overview of Yamdu's crew feature. We'll see you in the next video.